What's going on YouTube? It's Ryan. Today we're starting my new top 10 series in Call of Duty and today we're going over the top 10 Call of Duty titles of all time. So let's hop right into the video. I've come down to my list and I'm going to puke my thoughts out. I'm going to go over a base description of each game and then I'm going to tell you my thoughts and opinions. I don't like jetpack games. If you like jetpack games, you might not like this list. All I gotta say. The number 10 Call of Duty game all time is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Modern Warfare 2019 multiplayer features a mix of classic and new multiplayer modes as well as a variety of maps and playlists. The game introduces several new mechanics such as the ability to mount weapons on surfaces and use door breaches to create new lines of sight. The multiplayer also features a new ranking system and several new perks and kill streaks. The new modern movement slide canceling was good and bad. Lots of old school weapons. A lot of hate when the game came out but I think they made a good overall game when the game was done and when you go back and play the game I think I have a lot of fun playing the game now versus when the game first came out. They make a good game after 12 months. The game is finally a master game like hey this is the game and they bring us a very beta feeling at the beginning of the game. Moving on to number 9 Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2022 and this game is a little bit better than Modern Warfare 2019. I can definitely say the movement system and every single way that they've the whole the engine and everything they've done to create the game is made making a better game every single year at this point besides vanguard but yeah vanguard's not included vanguard wasn't bad but it's no modern warfare call of duty modern warfare 2 is a great game so far i like it the maps are eh, but i think this game has a lot of potential I, there's good gameplay there's good gunplay it's somewhat balanced in a multiplayer in warzone it's just warzone's not we're not talking about warzone though Stop talking about Warzone. And they're bringing that museum map back. I think these are, they're going the right direction. And I think by the time that we get to summertime, we'll have a good game, which is sad. But we're talking about the actual game, it's a good game. Number eight, we have Modern Warfare. <laughs> Modern Warfare lights up my series, guys. I'm sorry. Modern Warfare Remastered. And yes, I'm including this in here because this game was better than the game that launched with Infinite Warfare. Remastered was better than that game. And this was a remake of the 2007 game. Modern Warfare Remastered is a remastered version of the original Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare game released in 2016. The multiplayer in Modern Warfare Remastered features the same fast-paced and tactical gameplay that made the original game so popular. With updated graphics and visuals, this was a fan favorite. Redoing one of the old fan favorite games and this actually led the path, I think, for the Modern Warfare 2019 and the way that they uh, ran that game. Modern graphics on a beloved Call of Duty was great gameplay, great gunplay, very basic, and, you know, back to the bare bones. People loved this, and I loved it. I put more time into this game than Infinite Warfare, that is for sure. And it was only right to follow that up with number seven being Call of Duty 4. And Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is a first-person shooter game developed by Inf Infinity Ward and published by Activision. The multiplayer in Call of Duty 4 was a major part of what made the game so popular and influential, as it is considered to be by many to be one of the best multiplayer experiences in the franchise. The OG Call of Duty molded the way and was very revolutionary for Call of Duty going forward. This game did set the standard, and this game changed the way that multiplayer games were viewed, just in general. Not even just Call of Duty, not even FPS games either. This this game right here changed the way that all multiplayer games played it really pushed the boundaries at the time the previous game that did not have a major multiplayer following and then this game came out and it was like the game to play you were missing out i never actually played this game and it's prime i was too young for that i would they go back and play this game a ton once modern warfare 2 and black ops are out i played this game a lot more than i ever thought i would moving on to number six Black Ops Cold War, and Black Ops Cold War is one of my favorite, and you're talking about the new games, this game is definitely, I think, my favorite out of all the new games. This game is just crazy, guys. I, every, everything about it was so much fun. Black Ops Cold War is a first-person shooter game developed by Treyarch and Raven Software and published by Activision. Multiplayer in Black Ops Cold War features a variety of modes, maps, and playlists, as well as a deep customizable system and progression system. The game offers a mix of fast-paced and tactical gameplay options with a focus on stealth and strategy. This brought the good old black ops days back and this was the old school feel and it was the first time that they brought back this engine and it really felt good this game clicked in so many ways this was the game that modern warfare could have been it seems like this game lines up with the og black ops very well and the way that the game played and this is what i used to think that game felt like it's just crazy feeling the way the new engines were it's got good gameplay good maps and the gunfights were really good as well with some uh, really good weapons in the game and this game felt like it was supported very well on top of that Treyarch always delivers i've been saying that for a very long time and you guys will understand why I'm, I'm saying that Treyarch always delivers down below. My only issue with this game and why it's not higher is because there are other games that were better and it being newer and I didn't play this as much. I played every single other game lower on this list 
way more than this game so if i played this game more it, it might have been lower but i can't justify putting it lower at this point coming in at number five is call of duty modern warfare 2 it's a first person shooter game developed by infinity ward and published by activision the multiplayer at mw2 was widely re regarded as one of the best in the series offering a mix of fast-paced and tactical gameplay options this added a ton of customization after world at war uh, world at war and cod 4 were pretty similar in the way that they played and modern warfare 2 pushed the limits on everything it had the nuke for the very first time they had so much more customization when it came to your class logs and your weapons they added so many more different weapons the only issue that leaves this game so far up is that they never supported it in infinity ward and activision had it falling out during this time and basically there's nobody at infinity ward to support this game and that's the only reason why this game cannot be lower because the game was almost considered unplayable for almost the entirety of the game and it never has been a game where you can go play for hours and not have major issues over and over i mean like hacking just insane glitches in the game that break the game or zone crashes a lot the newer games don't have this issue there has rarely been a game that for that long had any issues and it just it's so unfortunate because that game had the makings of a really good game i think they're really getting back to their roots roots in a way and i think we're gonna be having some really good games come down the line here because the last few games have been pretty good overall besides vanguard screw vanguard actually i don't i don't know why i hate vanguard guys i never even played it i just played warzone i didn't even play vanguard coming in at number four Black Ops 3. Hey, you guys didn't see that one coming, did you? This is the best jetpack game. This is the only jetpack game I like. Black Ops 3 is a first-person shooter game developed by Treyarch and published by Activision. The multiplayer in Black Ops 3 is built around a fast, fluid, and kinetic experience with a focus on movement and customization. Very futuristic, even more futuristic than Black Ops 2. The jetpacks were not awful in this game. It had really good maps. The gameplay was great. The gunplay was amazing. This is the only game that was done right, and of course, it was done by Treyarch weird black ops 3 i have it below modern warfare 2 because the game was fully supported the entire time it was an all-around well-built game just gave such great experiences i had a lot of fun playing the game so number four is black ops 3 moving on to number three and man man oh man Treyarch, you did it again you son of a bitch black ops the og black ops it's a first person tactical shooter developed by Treyarch, published by activision the multiplayer in black ops is widely regarded as one of the best in the series offering a mix of fast paced and tactical gameplay options this game was all around great. This was the first game that Call of Duty hit every single thing right, basically. There was not much wrong with this game. People, you know, people complain about every little small thing. This game literally was perfect. It had insane customization. It was never before seen customization. It was almost today's standard level customization what you can do on your weapon, all the attachments you can have perks and stuff and stuff like that it was a great all-around game it had the best zombies i'm not even including zombies but the zombies in this game were amazing so i'm including it in this one nuketown introduction the very first time nuketown was around almost every map in this game was great you have memories on almost every map in this game let's be real guys moving on to number two and this one it might shock you it might not at the same time though favorite this is not the best call of duty this is my favorite call of duty difference there. Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 is a first person shooter game developed by Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Games published by Activision. The multiplayer and MW3 was a continuation of the fast paced and tactical gameplay experience offered in previous Modern Warfare titles. One reason, Moab. Two reasons, the gameplay was amazing. It was very, very, very similar to Modern Warfare 2. It had the same guns. Basically, it basically was Modern Warfare 2 supported. For the most part mw3 was insanely supported but they did have sledgehammer games helping infinity ward out in creating this game and they had amazing maps they had great gameplay good gunfights they still had some issues that modern warfare 2 had but the game was somewhat supported so that these issues were not you know randomly occurring there's nobody glitching and bushes and unable to get you know there's no stupid noob tube or nothing there's no there was a lot of bullshit taken out of the game basically not all of it, some. They still had Dead Man's New, kill a guy on a five death streak and he had drop C4 and blow you up when you're on a Moab run two off. Not very much fun, but you know what? It, all in all, this game was great. But then bringing back Terminal in this game was nostalgic and they need to bring Terminal back again in Modern Warfare 2. And if you don't know what game is last right now, if you're thinking it's uh, Advanced Warfare, I'm not gonna lie. You should probably drop a like, subscribe, and just click off this video. <laughs>
Black Ops 2, did you really think anything else? Treyarch did it a fucking again, man. Black Ops 2 is a first-person shooter game developed by Treyarch and published by Activision. The game takes place in the year 2025 and features a storyline that branches based on player choices as well as traditional multiplayer. The multiplayer in Black Ops 2 features a variety of modes, including traditional options like TDM, Free For All, and Domination, as well as new modes like Hardpoint and Kill Confirm. Kill Confirm is new, new to the Black Ops series. The game also includes a robust customization system, allowing players to tailor their loadout and appearance for their preferences. Black Ops 2 introduced the Pick 10 system, which allows players to choose up to 10 items from a pool of weapons, perks, and attachments, creating a unique and personalized loadout. The game also features a progression system, allowing players to earn XP and unlock new weapons, perks, and customization options. Overall, Black Ops 2 offers a fast-paced and tactical multiplayer experience. Maybe the best of all time, I put as one of my notes, competitive COD took off. This was the first time. Mo following Modern Warfare 3, competitive scene was growing. It was growing big and in this game they made the game for competitive call of duty basically and it took off everybody was playing wagers everyone was playing ranked plays stuff you know ranked play was fun pub stomping was great you know the canines the swarm the uh, orbital v sack there was good zombies good weapons to use it was an all-around great game guys and if you did not get to experience this game in the heyday i feel so bad for you because this game was just mint condition this was the first call of duty game that was fully supported i would say and that was just perfect in every sense and i think that, that is why black ops 2 is the best call of duty of all time and if you guys did like my list be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you did not like my list comment down below on what you think i should do next for my top 10 series and let me know why you think advanced warfare is the best game ever so let me know in the comments below hope you guys all enjoyed the video drop a like and subscribe if you're still here and if you are still here oh, you must like my uh, you must like my opinion or something drop a like and subscribe hope you guys all have a wonderful day thank you guys appreciate you